What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am your energy and intuitive reader and I'm going to do the general message for somebody. All right, so guys, thank you so much for being here. Before I pull the charms, I do want to say that this video is going to be a little different, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to, obviously, as you guys see in the description box, this is about what you don't see coming. So I'm going to pull two different decks to get two different messages. Um, and then we're going to do our oracle quick, straight to the point type of thing. All right. So let's see who's going to get it. Check out my description box for my Snapchat. I do post on there as well. Who is this? Virgo. What's up, Virgo? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Virgo as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. All right. So Virgo, let's see what you don't see coming. Virgo, Virgo. What does a Virgo see coming? What should they be aware of right now? Virgo, three cards, please. All right, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Swords with the Five of Cups. All right, Virgo, so for the first pile, you guys might lose some money. Or there might be um, an unexpected expense that you're going to have to do here. And it's going to have you stressed out here. A lot of you guys are going to regret doing this or whatever this. Like, like I feel like because you, because you have the Five of Cups here, which is regretful energy. Um, I feel like there's something here that you could have invested in that did, turned out to not work out for you okay and you start feeling regretful six of wands in reverse yeah something isn't <clears throat> moving forward the way you thought it was going to and i guess the outcome is going to stress you out with the nine of swords here there might be some worry coming this could have been a financial investment that you made i'm getting that some of you guys already know this so for those of you guys that already know this your 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 message might be in this pile all right all right, Spirit Virgo. You have no. Mm. I feel like when you made this investment, there was something that was telling you no, Virgo. There was some that there was something that was telling you no here, and you still went and did it. Blue Lobster, you're one in a million. Embrace your rarity. Okay. Um, I feel like the I like I said, this card is still screaming at me. Like we told Virgo, we told Virgo. So I definitely like they're telling you that Virgo because they don't want you to feel regretful. Regretful isn't an energy to really be in. It's not a good energy to be in. It doesn't bring in good um, energies back to you. It's like stagnant energy. So they're just kind of like, listen, this is coming up. You you kind of knew about it. You know what I'm saying? We, we kind of told you a little bit, whether your intuition, whatever. Um, but you guys still did, made the investment. I feel like somebody could have been in your ear, you know? But again, that's part of life, right? You live and you learn. All right. Ooh. Someone's not, again, look at this. The five of wands are just, that are just uh, down the middle. Yeah, I mean, it might start some drama. Whatever this is, Virgo. All right, let's see. Let's see what your other message is, Virgo. Spirit, what doesn't Virgo see coming right now? What else doesn't Virgo see coming, Spirit? What doesn't Virgo see coming? You have the High Priestess. The Four of Cups, clearly. Four of Cups is definitely energy of you don't see this coming. And the Page of Swords. Some communication, the Nine of Pentacles, about your independence. All right. Um, there's going to be some communication, and I feel like your intuition is already... Your intuition has been talking to you, Virgo. And I feel like, um, for those of you guys that this is both connected, that this, is, that this has already happened, this is happening here kind of the same way this is happening. It's that the universe is giving you, like, like another chance, like, another shot. Like, let's see let's see if Virgo is going to learn the lesson from this mis missed opportunity and actually listen to this. Because there's, there's some communication. I want to see what this communication is about. 
you definitely don't see this coming, but your intuition is telling you that this communication is coming. With the Nine of Pentacles, it could be about your home, your independence, but I want to clarify more. What's this page of swords? Oh, whoever's going to come and talk to you, they're pissed. Yeah, King of Swords in reverse. Could be a Pisces with the High Priestess, but they're pissed about something. They're not going to come nicely here. They're not going to show any type of loving emotion to you at all with the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Five of Wands. They're coming with drama. They're coming with drama or they're coming with like chaotic energy, challenging energy, the Three of Wands in reverse. They're not waiting, like they're not waiting to come and talk to you. It's about to happen really quickly for a lot of you. Ten of Pentacles, the Empress. Yeah, it could be about money. This could be somebody who you love. All right. Okay. I had to figure that out. Sorry, guys. All right, let's see what... <clears throat> All right, so there we go. In this energy, what's going on? All right, you have Palm Tree. Bringing ideas to life, magical creations, and embrace your inner child. Have fun. All right, so... Uh, Virgo, what I'm going to tell you is this situation is going to open up a manifestation thing for you. Like, whatever communication is going to come in, whatever happens, whatever is said to you is going to, like, trigger something. And you're going to start manifesting something specific. It's going to be, like, an aha moment. And you needed this situation to kind of push you into that uh, mindset. Okay yeah like it's you're gonna have a lot of ideas this is gonna this is gonna open it up for you again it's definitely not gonna feel like that because the way this person is gonna come to you you're gonna be really like irritated but this needs to happen okay and i feel that's why your intuition is involved because they want to warn you about it so when it happens you don't you know overextend yourself or go a little overboard and kind of just keep your cool and keep your calm so you can manifest or you can hear when your intuition tells you this manifestation so i feel like there's something that you guys have been asking for well your voice matters speak your truth speak how you feel when this energy comes and talks to you here all right don't hold back say what you got to say as long as virgo you are keeping true to yourself and you're not intentionally trying to hurt somebody's feelings speak up and don't be afraid you're not going to get any bad karma nothing like that if you are speaking from the heart and again you have pure intentions to not you know hurt anyone on purpose all right all right virgo it's all that i have for you today hope this brought some clarity or some insight into your situation and yeah have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive